Monday morning. It's almost 8 o'clock. Um, we didn't go to bed till after probably 2. So, one of the student coach that helps with the kids um, that I told you guys that he was staying in the Tallahassee house, we went to the track meet. So, the club was able to bless him with a flight to go to a Nike running camp. He's a he's a distance runner. So long story short, he's he's his dad has had him since he was a baby. Single dad, they've had a hard time. So we the club rented a vehicle um for him to take him to Atlanta to fly out to get to North Carolina um, because that was the cheapest route plus the student coach he's 16 he's never flown so he needed to have a direct flight somewhere that was easier so my husband you know we got the vehicle and he dropped it off to him uh, probably about 8 um, Saturday night so the dad when he got to the airport apparently he they only had the one cell phone and he gave the cell phone to the son and we didn't know that so we were calling like my husband was calling like three something to check to see like hey do you know did he get off okay did he make it are you on your way back but the son answers the phone and he's like oh i got the cell phone um but i made it to you know north carolina so we're like, okay, but we were like, well, it's strange because, you know, the dad hadn't tried to contact us to bring the car back because we have to turn it in. And so my husband was like, well, we'll give until like five and he should be done. And actually we went over there, it was probably six and they're close to where we live. So he wasn't there and he was like, this just doesn't make sense. So we were like well maybe he pulled off and was tired he was on crutches like he's i think he has more health issues than what he's saying but about one o'clock my husband's like okay let's just go back to the house maybe he made it maybe he went to sleep you know because he was exhausted or something we went by his house again not nothing there he works at uh, one of the target stores i think he's a stalker so we had to drive like 15 more minutes or 20 minutes away to this target to see if we had seen any vehicles um because i don't know target's rules i know walmart stockers stock overnight but of course they're 24 hours and target is not and so we get there it's, sorry so i spent probably i said two o'clock i went to bed i probably was later because i was on the phone with georgia highway patrol dot alabama up until a certain point because we're like did he have a wreck whatever so my husband you know we were just like i'm tired we don't know what else to do at this point so this morning he finally talked to the son and he's like oh well you know i'll send him a message on facebook and he should answer and i found the facebook page but i saw that he didn't respond to something yesterday so we called one of the other coaches to see like hey can you figure out this facebook thing because i don't have facebook my husband has it but he never uses it and um he just left and went over there but when he got to the house he that's my phone cut off he um said the the guy's actual vehicle is gone and i'm like well where is the rental like did he just drop the rental off and didn't say anything like and we put a note on his door that said to call him so now my husband's going to the enterprise to see if the vehicle got dropped off we have no clue what's going on at this point like you know if you're okay is disrespectful for you to not let us know when we've rented the vehicle for you to make sure the vehicle is good when you return it like we are lost for words right now so i'll keep you updated okay guys so the car got returned but we still have not heard from the parent um so we're kind of like over it because it's like 
totally disrespectful that we do something to help you and your child but you don't have the audacity to contact us to say he made it safe i made it back i dropped the rental car off everything's good to go and and stuff like that makes you want to not help again you know not to say you're going to stop helping people but when people just kind of like take your kindness for weakness that's not right at all um and my husband literally has been back probably almost 45 minutes and he still has not gotten a phone call um is what it is so the hubby just left to go oh sorry to do a beach workout with the team so they go pretty much monday and friday they do beach workouts um I was not going to attempt to even try today. So Easter is still asleep because she didn't go to bed until after 1230, which is late for her. So I'll be trying to, you know, we've been, he went in there to give her her meds and try to get her up and give her breakfast, but she was still asleep. So I'm going to try to let her rest maybe about 20 more minutes because she has to get her seizure medicine and I have to get her up. Um, for the aid to come to get her situated and stuff for the day <sighs> it's just i'm sleepy so i'm gonna set my alarm for about 15 minutes or so so i don't oversleep and then i'll get her up hey guys so when i tell you the devil is busy the devil is busy so i was texting michael to ask because easter's hairdresser just had to get a second job so all of her hair appointments keep getting changed or the time will get moved because she's having to cover somebody else's shift or whatever so she called a day and was like or text saying you know somebody else is still sick and you know she can do it you know at 5 15 versus 4 30 on tomorrow so i just text my husband i sit in the office because I was going to try to get a couple things done and then lay back down for a little bit and then try to clean up. Um, and I would text him. I was like, what do you want to do? Because he's getting the van worked on. So remember the other day in one of the other videos, he was supposed to get another tire. He didn't want to wait at the tire place because he felt like he would be okay to keep driving on the tire. And I told him, you need to just get a rental vehicle you know and that just get the rental vehicle until we can get it fixed but no he keeps riding on the thing so today he had to pick up four athletes and he just called and his tire blew out on the interstate with four athletes in it everybody's fine but now you know he's he was on his way to go to the beach workout and of course he's like canceling the beach workout but one of the other parents is gonna come help you know get the kids but i was like i don't give a crap about a beach workout at this point you can't just leave the vehicle on the side of the road and because the exit where it's at is not a safe area number one and we have all of that track equipment which is very expensive and i feel bad because i didn't even say are you okay he i just was like frustrated because he was like, well, the mechanic said I could drive. I said, no, the mechanic said you can drive for the belt. There's some loose belt on the van. And I was like, that has nothing to do with the tire. The mechanic didn't even see or know about the tire. Y'all. When I tell you, I had to just throw, I, I just put a bra on. That's all I could do, like, to get up, to just get to wherever they are. And it's going to at least take me about... 15 minutes to get to them because of where they're located <sighs> so I need some prayers y'all it's like it's like one thing is something else and this is why husbands should listen to stop you need to blog I don't care yes. it's whatever stop what are you doing so fast? <laughs> you got the athletes trying to clown on me, but he trying to take the attention off himself. 
So he tried to jack the car up, but or the van up, and it broke it, jack. the jack, <laughs> the van went down and the jack broke. So the DOT has a service called Road Runners, and they sh pulled up like as right as excuse her as, as Road Rangers. Ro oh, I thought it was Road Runner. I thought they have the little thing on the side that's the Road Runner, it's the little character. Anyways, so as soon as that happened. We were about to get in the car to leave, then he pulled up. So we were like super thankful to him. Oh, you can open it first. Right Thank you there. so much. You are so welcome. <laughs> Hello, y'all. Y'all get a chance to see adversity for her and me. Different? Yeah. I ain't never used it. What, did, 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 can you match on it? Does it feel like a gun? Yeah, it got a little after. Uh, hang on, sir. I think it might have a little bit of it. Uh, well, where are you going? <laughs> when I get this put on, I'm going right back to the so appreciate it, I will. This was a blessing, Jesus. You are you just came out of nowhere. <laughs> just, um, listen, every time you get tires, every time you get them rotated in balance, make them pull that out, make them check it, make them put air in it. Okay, tell everybody you know. Okay, gotcha. We only work 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday now. Oh, okay. And on the weekend, if you have a flat tire, if somebody shows to help, help you and you got a flat and an air compressor. You're in the same situation. Yeah. You call yeah. them tow trucks. That's I didn't true. Even never think about having them check that. Nobody in. does. No, it doesn't cost any more for them yeah. to take to test check that, that and put air in it. Wow. So appreciate that information. You are so welcome. That's a tip. So the Florida Ranger um, DOT guy said the tip is make sure when you get your tires balanced and it's and free. Air, it's free. And air put in it. Make sure they air up your spare tire every time because. And that goes with it. And guess what? This service free. Don't block me. I, I'm just telling everybody it's free. I'm just. I'm hot. I'm sweating. And like my. He's and like. And the Lord told me like, today to start kissing on her a whole lot more. <laughs> she laughing. I, I, they say as long as you keep her laughing, she good. I'm saying my arms. It's are a like, lot of other reasons she be laughing, but we are. <laughs> My arms are like on fire. Baby, you taste salty. Um, <laughs> I can't be in the sun and it's 95 degrees. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he got jokes, y'all. Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. Y'all pray for all the calls. Well, look, this will happen when you when the AC broke in the car, but it still blow, but only when you're pressing on the gas and not the van. But we don't want no car note after this doggone car is paid for. Jesus. I ain't getting no car no more. It's just pray for us, y'all. Pray for us. But no, as soon as I got out, he's like, Why are your arms so red? I was like, that's what happens when I get in the sun. I wasn't even out of the car. Five and what minutes. they doing is free. Chains out free. Free. When I tell you this man came up out of nowhere, like I, ain't seen him pull up. I, I saw him. I ain't seen him pull up, pull up. No, I, I just when I got in the up. car and um, then I, I was like, oh, hold up, there's he the. Was just there. He, he, he didn't. He see just. Him up. I saw him drive up this line. You didn't see him. It's free. <laughs> it's free. So guys, that was the tip for today. You saw how the tire looked, and I'm thankful that him and the athletes are all fine. I ain't they just ride. Then they it could have been kid, really they bad. Did, yeah, it could have been bad. Kid, they just ride. God bless us. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Especially on the they were right the here by, the you know, uh, exit. Like everybody here visiting it to the beaches. Yeah. We got all kind of people that don't know how to drive from places it's like Mississippi, busy. Alabama, and Georgia. Y'all up there in North, y'all, y'all the same folks. But the service is free. They do all the stuff. Please go away. It's free, baby. Time so Lord Jesus, I'm thankful that they're fine. But I have to now follow him to get the tire changed with the other. And if that's all it takes for her to follow, I've been trying to get this one. How long we been together? Following me? We are we actually get to that point now. I need to have a flat tire once a week then if she gonna follow me. Because the service free. It's free, y'all. <laughs> Did 
<laughs> Y'all see what I gotta deal with? Oh, Jesus. I'll come back, guys. I got my water. Hey, guys. So, it's about almost 4.30, but finally got everything situated with the hubby and the athletes. And we got home at, I want to say 1.30, 2 o'clock. When I tell you my hands were swollen, my feet were swollen because it was so hot out there. We had to go to three different places to try to find the tire. And we ended up going to Walmart um, to get the, uh, you know, the tire put on. And I still have to take him back to Walmart because they were swamped to pick the vehicle up before 7 I did lay down for probably about 45 minutes to an hour because I had to take on most relaxer because I was in so much pain like when he called I had just finished breakfast and I did not get to take my medicine and I didn't even think about it until I got home and I was like oh my god I didn't take my cell up so I'm gonna <sighs> tell you that was horrible and I'm sorry if the camera's crooked but um yeah that's I'm just thankful that he was safe and the athletes were safe um, and where the tire blew out at was like not to say the perfect location but it was not it was right by an exit to get off on the interstate so you know when you have the your the white lines that go I guess for like caution parking or whatever um, he was able to be right there so he was out of the road and not sticking out or anything like that um but yeah i did insert the pictures of the tire and it's just by the grace of god that you know they weren't going super fast um a lot of things could have went wrong you know when you have a tire blowout so i'm just thankful that he's okay but i'm gonna lay back down um I just took my second cell sept. I really have not. I had some mozzarella sticks while we were out. And I had some Ritz, which I love Ritz. They don't love me. And he's making pork chops on the George Foreman right now. But I just don't have the strength to like eat a whole bunch of stuff right now. <sighs> like my day was planned. I was going to clean, organize. I had everything. I've been on Pinterest trying to get my mojo back but this lupus that sun i mean literally like my skin like i told you guys he's like oh my god your skin is so red and hot and i literally had just got out of the car i wasn't even in the sun that long and i said it literally feels like my skin is baking and i did not have any lotion on i didn't even have time to grab sunscreen because i just was rushed out the door you know so the struggles of lupus and then once i got back in the car to try to get out of the sun it was so hot and it was just just miserable so i'll come back hey guys so finally out of the doggone bonnet and the hair is flying everywhere because we had the windows down um so quick question i just well not question yeah i do have a question i'm all over the place so i just dropped the hubby off to pick up the van he, you know walmart fixed the tire or whatever so i have to go to walmart but i'm going to the neighborhood one because i don't have the strength to fight and deal with the super walmart right now because all i need is to get some bread um and that's it so my question is for those um that have taken medrol dose pack or take prednisone um, I don't know if it occurs when you take you're taking prednisone every day for you know a long term or whatever but every time even since I was little I take when I took prednisone like when I had asthma I would be so sore like it would help with you know the issue that I was having but I would be so sore to the point you could not even touch and it happens in my shoulders and normally it's just my shoulders like they will be so swollen and tender to the point of almost tears um now it's in my shoulder and my back 
and my pain old pain doctor mentioned that's a rare side effect that can happen with prednisone comment below if you've had this and what do you do for it i'm gonna go home and try to do some research and that's why you know prednisone is like a double-edged sword it works but then you have so many other issues behind it and i thank god that i'm not on it long term which a lot of people with autoimmune um are and i remember my mom she she was on prednisone i know at least 20 years you know of my life um and i think the lowest that i ever would see her be on was like 10 milligrams um so I just am curious to know.